Right, this is a lecture on mathematical finance, because I haven't done one of those yet, and it's on the arbitrage situations. So hopefully it'll be some use to you. Right, some things to note first off <coughs> is that when we're using the letter S, we're talking about stocks, and when we're using the letter A, we're talking about bonds. And these S0 and S1s are different time references. So we'll start uh, the starting you start at zero, and then after a set of time you get to one. So this is a different stopping point, and then we could add some other ones and go to two and three. Yeah. So the stock price here will change value starting at S0, then it will go to S1, so it will have a different value, S2, and so on. I hope that makes sense. Right, and the rate of return, this is how much you're making from your stocks. So we denote this as KS, and we have the final price of the stock minus the initial over the initial. So, and this, th these change, if you were to have an another set, you'd have 2, 1, 1 there. And we have exactly the same for the bonds. So we have the final price, uh, price of the bonds minus the initial divided by the initial. Right, now, next thing is the total wealth. So. So two things we're going to take into account here are the stock that you might have and the bonds that you might have. So here is our equation. So this is our total wealth VT, so this could be zero. If this was zero, then you'd have S0 and A0, your stocks at the starting and your bonds at the starting. And this X is how many stocks you have, and the Y is how many bonds you have. And they can actually be negative, because you could, you could owe someone some stocks. Right. Arbitrage. I don't know why that says arbitrage. Uh, it's a risk-free profit and you, with uh, no investment. So here we go. The initial total wealth is always zero to start off with. So, and we'll, we'll, well, I've got a little example here to hopefully explain how that can happen. How you can have nothing and still make money. If we have buyer A they buy and sell pounds at one euro thirty and buy a B buys and sells pounds pound coins at one euro twenty five now if you went to buy a B and you said can I borrow a pound you get the pound of him and then you'd go go to buy a and sell him the pound get one euro thirty you take that one euro thirty back to buy a B, so here's your money, so you give him one euro twenty five, and which means you've got five cents extra, five cents extra. So that's an arbit arbitrage situation. Right, examples. Find the arbitrage find if there is an arbitrage situation where the uh, initial stock value is equal to the initial bonds, which is equal to fifty and our bonds change price uh, at the next time to 55 and our stocks change to 60 with a probability of 0 0.6 and 80 with a probability of 0 0.4 so obviously stocks are the best thing to invest in because they always go up but we want to see if we can use this so what we need to do first is we need to get an arbitrage situation. So we can't just buy stocks because then we'll have we'll have bought something. So what we can do is we've got this equation. So we want x times 50 because that's the value of the initials plus y times 50 equals 0. We want that to be 0 which means x must equal minus y. So we've got two situations that this can be true. Well other than the fact we've got 0, 0 which won't work because we'll have nothing at all. So here we can either owe a stock and we have a bond and this is what's called a portfolio so it's just telling you what you've got or we could have a stock and owe a bond so if we put those in and multiples of that as well so what we want to do first is we look at this first case of minus one one so we know the initials uh, zero because if we have well I haven't put that in but we'll have minus one times 50 plus 50 is 0, of course it is. And what we do now is S1 is going up to 80 with probability 
So because we've got minus 1 stock, we'll put minus 80 plus our 55 because our bonds are going up to 55. So now our initial investment here is minus 25. So we've actually lost money here. This down here as well, it goes to 60. So we've, it's gone from 50 to 60. So we've minus 60, that's how much we owe, plus 55 because that's what it's got up to, remember. And this is minus 5. So this isn't an arbitrage situation. Case two, we'll try this one. Now it, it should be obvious that this will work because all this is, this is the negative of this. So if we negative this, then they're both positive and you're bound to make money both times. So we've got 80 because it's gone up to 80 and there's somewhere only one stock, so that's a positive. We owe a bond here, so that's minus 55, so that gives us 25, 60 minus 55, and 5. It's probably 0 0.6, 0 0.4. So this one is an arbitrage situation because you have probability of one that you will make money, and it has to be a probability of one. If it's if if one of these was negative, then it wouldn't work. Right. It's the same question, but this time I've changed the final bond price to 90. So again, we do the same. We've got we can, this can only work if it's minus one one or one minus one. Case one is minus one stocks, one bond. So we put those in. Remember, stocks have gone to mine to 80. That's gone to 60, so we have to subtract that. Because all we're doing is we're putting these new values into here, if that's not making sense. And this has gone to 90. So minus 80 plus 90 is 10. This one's 30. So this one is an arbitrage situation. But we can check the other one as well. And this one isn't with one minus one, 80 minus 90 because this time we're owing here. Yes? So remember this this one is because it's the chance of making a profit is one. You will always make a profit. And this one you'll always make a loss. Right, the last one. This one is different. You might think, okay, they're all kind of looking like there's gonna be one. We've changed it to 70 this time. So again we've got exactly the same here. We've got cases minus one one. So now we can put our values in, so we've got minus one times, this is the value of the stock, isn't it? Which has gone to 80 here, so it's got minus 80 plus 70, because here it's gone from 50 to 70, which is minus 10. And down here, it's gone to minus 60 plus 70, which is 10. So we don't have an arbitrage situation here, because the chance of making a profit isn't always one, you can also make a loss. The next case, one minus one is, like I say, this is the negative of this, so it's just changing the values, 10 minus 10, and it isn't an si arbitrary situation. So there is no arbitrary situation in this question. I hope that's all made sense.